So if you've ever wondered what machinist hell looks and sounds like, this is it. I'm boring a uh, five inch hole through a layer of half inch with a layer of one inch layered inside of it. So that's an inch and a half total. Um, and what I need to do is bore this out to five inch and then I'll bore it out with an actual boring bar once I get these holes cut through here. But ultimately it's gotta be bored out to a finished radius for that bearing to sit inside of. So there's my hand, so you get a size reference. Um, that's a two and a half ID by inch and an eighth, or by five and an eighth OD bearing, uh, about an inch and an eighth thick. Uh, good size bearing, but anyways, we gotta cut these holes through here and an actual five inch uh, annular cutter to cut that would be about 450 bucks and I'm not putting that kind of money into something. I only do one of these maybe once every one or two years. So I use a hole saw because they're 30 bucks. So usually I can get uh, one of these completely done with a hole saw, but you just put a lot of coolant on it and work slow. This is in the lowest speed that the mill can run, which is 90 RPM on this particular one. The key to using a hole saw on steel is, especially when you get over about two inch diameter, you need to put some reliefs in here. So before I cut my hole, what I did is I put my hole saw in, touched it down so it left a ring on the top of here, and then ran myself out to that ring and drilled two relief holes. And what that does is it allows the debris, as the saw comes around the radius, it'll allow the debris to fall out. So even if you break a tooth, it'll allow that broken tooth to fall out of the hole rather than rip the rest of the teeth off the saw. So that's how you get the life out of a hole saw when doing this kind of steel. This saw was brand new when I started this particular project, so I've gone through an inch and a half already, and I'm going through the next here. I'm about a quarter inch deep so far. But I figured I'd share with you, like I say, machine as hell. This is what it sounds like. This is what it looks like because these things scream when you're cutting steel with them. So there's not much you can do about that, but uh, this is what we get to go through to make the wonderful projects that everybody else uses to save labor. So we're Minnesota Implement, and this is us having fun. Thanks for watching.